Hey, Ace on Knives. This is Rich. I'm redoing a video that I on a petrified fish knife I just got in, in inventory today. I didn't have the information and I had poor fit video quality because I, I was messing with the set behind me, the backdrop, because I'm getting ready to move. So I put it back and I got one of my steel signs with the backlight behind me right now. So let's cover this real quick because I don't want to mess around with petrified fish knives and not do it right because they do it right at the manufacturer. These knives are really, really nice. This is the petrified fish, fish flavorist. F-L-A-V-O-R-I-S-T, I believe. It's the PFE05. It's awesome. I really love all my petrified fish knives. So I'm going to just say this right here. If you are a beginner EDC guy to intermediate, but say beginner because really beginner means you don't really know what you want and what you need. I'm going to recommend you try a petrified fish knife. I've got a few and I've gotten four total and I love them all. I think they have been fantastic knives in the sense of just really the neat thing about them too is is they're so different from each other whereas like you have some knife manufacturers will they will kind of have a resemblance throughout their knife lines a good one might be qsp can you blame them qsp makes some awesome knives they're penguin they're parrot they're you go down the line the hawk there's they they do the bird names and they they all kind of have just different blades a little bit different handles and they're really nice and cool whereas petrified fish what this right here is the flavorist right in black micarta deep carry clip it's running on bearings and has k110 steel liner lock and it has the front flip with the jibbing that goes all the way up. Look, look at that jib vision there. All the way up around the flipper. So the nice thing about this too is, is you, can, you can get a reverse flick off the blade. That means the knife has really great detent in action is what that means. And that means you got a really good knife. Especially if you like it. And it feels good in your hand. And, you know, it works for what you want it to do. So this flavor is awesome. But real quick, I want to show you a couple of my other favorites. So this is the Scholar. And I love this. This is an olive wood. And it's a front flip. And you can flip off the blade. There we go. And it has like a barber style, Warren Cliff, hollow grind. This is really, really, really slick, guys. Titanium clip. Has all the same stuff as that one, more or less. But just different scales, different, different everything. But like, so you got that knife and then you have this. And then this one's, this one's really affordable right now too. It has really no detent at the bottom. And I'll show you. I'm not going to do anything but this. See, I think that's cool, but it's not good. You want your blade to stay locked in there, especially when you're, it's in your pocket. And when you're flipping it about, you don't want it just to fly open unless you're, you're prompting it to. So that's not really good. It's got a single thumb stud, stud on one side. But this knife is really like slicey and cool. It's got this wood handle. I, I, I think it's rosewood. Came with a little leather lanyard. It's obviously on bearings. It's super, super, the profile is super thin. And of course, the action is you got to watch. It wants to cut you and it wants to open. You know, I didn't do anything there. So you're going to be able to open this knife any way you want, obviously. There's a reverse flick off the blade, and this is a very narrow, well, that's not that narrow. But there's no ramp there. There's no spine with a grind to really grip your finger against, and it still just, it still just wants to fly open. So, but I like that. And, of course, the Warren Cliff, modified Warren Cliff. And let's get back to what we were talking about, and that's this. This is the Petrified Fish Flavorist. And I put it to mind with another new knife I, I just got recently, which is the Vosteed Raccoon. This Vosteed Raccoon and the Flavorist look like they were 
cut from similar cloth. Both fantastic micarta. Really, this has the button lock. Button locks are pretty cool, and they're really popular right now. So this is way, way more fidgety. You know, you're going to get the reverse flick off the blade. You're going to, you know, and you're going to get it off the thumb studs. You're going to get, you know, you can actually just do the button open. With, whereas this is going to have just a, a little bit less. But I'm going to tell you, the action on this Petrified Fish, are it's going to be different. Because the, the different locks really dictate that. But this Petrified Fish flavorist is something you guys ought to really think about. It's, it's like, I want to say it looks like, I can't say it's like, but it looks like the Drop Bear. All right, here's the Art Artisan Cutlery um, Feldspar. Yeah, that, this is a big knife. This is a, this is a really cool knife. I love this knife. It's got carbon fiber. There's a little size right there. That'll tell you something. It's shorter, but guys, this is not a small knife. It's just not a big, big knife. You know what I mean? So I'm going to put it up against one more and that's going to be the QSP Penguin I was talking about earlier. And this knife is really great. I got it in the denim micarta, and I like I like that. It's kind of cool. It's kind of classy looking. It's like a real light blue material, and it's really taken on my fingerprints, you know, which I like. I want my micarta to really, the lighter micarta, I want it to really look worn. I want it to really, you know, s s say, hey, you use that knife. But there's the penguin. So we're talking about almost the same size knives as the penguin. And the penguin's not known to be a, a really big knife. But it is a really, really good knife. I love QSP, guys. So really, there's so many great, um, there's so many great manufacturers out there for your UEDC guys that you might want to just really watch your videos on YouTube. There's some really great uh, video guys out there that are so much better than me, obviously, because I, I like to do parody and a little bit of comedy and just be a, a jackass. <clears throat> Whereas those guys are very serious about their knives. They really have a lot of manufacturer backup and support. But I know what I like. I'm a stylish guy in a weird way, you know. I don't really look that stylish when I do these videos because I'm in a wood shop back in an office doing work. And when I get done work, I come in here and shoot a video just because I love doing it and it's fun. Now, I am going to say that if I was going to give advice to a new EDCer, a new knife carrier, a younger man, man or woman, I'm going to say Petrified Fish, CJRB. CJRB is awesome. That art, art, the feldspar I was showing you, that's Artisan Cutlery. They own CJRB. I just really like all their knives. And then, if you want to go a little bit, I don't want to say it's less or more of a budget, but you got QSP, Petrified Fish, CJRB, Civivi, and then you would have the company under Civivi, who I really, really like, is Sencut. You might want to look at Sencut knives. I, they got a, a wide range of style blades that go from, you know, the Warren, the Warren Cliff and the Watauga. And, and, you know, you have the Saxe I got behind me, which is a draw point. You got the Chiral, which is a sheep's foot looking thing. You know, they, they, they really do good stuff. And they've got some button lock stuff that's under $50. So if you're really thinking, I really want a button lock knife like this raccoon. And then there's the Vosteed. Vosteed's got this. And then they got uh, the Valona. I think that's Fosty. No, that's McGurn. So you can look at them. They're pretty good, but it's that's just a straight budget type thing. But they've got the Valona and the Pelora and the Acri or whatever. But no, definitely look at Fosty, Petrified Fish, CJRB, oh, QSP, Civivi. Oh, my Civivi knife. Let's put the Sakoki. I got a couple Civivis, but this is this Sakoki would be a good one to put up because it's super popular. And I just love this Sakoki with the satin finish and the earth tones. It's just awesome. So they're almost the same size. It looks like the Sakoki's probably about quarter to a half an inch bigger, three eighths, whatever. 
Um, but this this knife right here, guys, it's like that knife that just uh, just feels right. You know, just feels right. So I really love. I would love this bead blast. It's a bead finish. The bead bead back blast finish. It's got this. You don't see fingerprints. You'll see fingerprints on this. Let's see if I can do it. See, I think you can see some fingerprints. You see some grease smudges. You're not going to see anything on this on this bead blast finish. So I've gone a little longer than I wanted because I ended up talking about a bunch of different knives. But it really was hitting a mark as far as making sure uh, my young EDCers out there that are like, hey, what, what should I get kind of thing? What brand should I maybe try to be loyal to if you like uh, certain you know, loyalties to certain companies that there's a lot of people like that. I'm not that guy when it comes to companies. I, I just want what I like the best. And as you can see, I put behind me what I like best and it's everything. I like it all. As long as it's got a little bit of quality and then message me if you have any questions. And if you want to talk about like maybe uh, super budget stuff, but more budget stuff, less budget stuff, but I'm telling you right now, I'm doing a slow roll up and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of petering out right now with the 60, 70, $80 knives. And then I'm getting ready. To, I'll ramp up over a hundred here soon, but I want to stay in this realm because right now there's a knife revolution going on in the under hundred dollar knife range that I think most people should just be, that's all I need. That's all I need. But there you go. Nice, serious review. No goofy crap. It's how I feel about Petrified Fish. Petrified Fish makes me feel serious because they make serious knives. So get yourself a Petrified Fish, maybe the Flavorist, maybe one of the others. They have just such a wide range. So these are great knives. This is Rich. Thumbs up, subscribe, check me out, tell your friends. Deuces.